Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yet another video about the Hunt Showdown is here. In today's video, I talked about the Hunt Showdown stuttering issue and some possible fixes you can do and see if it's improving your gaming condition. So stay with me. Before we start in guys, I want to mention something. In update 151, still there is a lot of investigation about the uh, stuttering issues and as you can see in the patch note, they said uh, some players may encounter stuttering issues, we are actively investigating these issues. So if you are joined in this video to get the 100% fix, I'm sorry I can't do anything in their side. And yeah, I also separated this video in two parts. The part one is about the changes I am really more comfortable with them and may working for you. And part two is about the changes I not sure if it's doing anything or not, okay? First of all guys, make sure you're running Hunt Showdown in your SSD, not your HDD. Because HDD is just causing a lot of stuttering and it's, it's potentially causing a lot of stuttering by trying to fetching anything from your hard disk to your RAM and this process potentially causing a stuttering. But if you have no other option, you can go to your registry, go to this pass, and come here and enable prefetcher and put it 0 and OK. That's it. And go to your services, come here, find your super fetch. I don't have super fetch here because I just wiped it out from my PC. Go to the properties and just disable that. But I just don't have it here. You can just type super fetch and find it. Disabling these two options causing your application are in your HDD to start very slowly. So if it didn't work for you, just go back and revert the changes. And after that, just close the services, go to your power setting. Let me go here. Control panel or control panel items, power option, edit plan setting and go to the change advanced power setting and come here and find your AHCI link power management. Before that, you have to make sure your HDD running on AHCI. You can change it from your BIOS in your motherboard setting. And after that, come here and put this one in active and this one in zero. I don't want to explain what it does here, but uh, it's just some sort of power management tool. The next fix you may hear a lot about is just going to your Hunt Showdown folder and Steam Library, Steam App, Common Hunt Showdown and delete just user folder. This user contains lots of things like profiles, screenshots and your shaders, cache and your shader cache and anything. So just delete this and see if it's work. And you have to know when you're deleting this, it's just going to remove all of your settings and everything you have. Number five is like kind of weird for me guys. Some people reported alt tabbing can relieve the issue. I know alt tabbing just bringing your application or hunt showdown to the background and then bring it back to the foreground and it may help. I don't know why but just give it a shot and try it. The next one in the list is coming to Nvidia control panel, going to 3 d optimization and change this option to off or on and see if it's working for you. This one also may be changing your frame rate. Auto is like best for most users, but you can try it to see what is going on. Number seven is really important guys. You should not reaching more than 80 for your GPU and CPU. As you can see, I'm using HW info here to take my temperatures and you can use whatever program you like and whatever program your motherboard has, your GPU has, your CPU has and make sure you're not reaching above the threshold. Some people report that the slideshow background can causing a stuttering for them and for disabling that you can go to the setting background and come here and just and just change it to the solid color or whatever picture you want to have for your background. This one is working like a charm guys, I promise you, just do it. Just go and cap your frame on a frame your PC can handle that. For example, you're getting 60, 70, 80 and your minimum frame of course is 60. So go cap your frame on 60 and just go to your refresh rate on your monitor and cap your refresh rate to 62 or if your monitor is like 60 Hz and can't go 
Above the 60, go cap your frame 2 frame or 3 frame below your refresh rate and not going more than 3 and not lower than 2. For doing custom frame rate in Hunt Showdown, you can use of course Nvidia control panel and go to the max frame rate and put your desired frame rate here. But for the best way and getting less input lag, you can use the in-game engine FPS limiter of Han Shodan I showed you in a video and top right you can click it and learn it. It's just very short video. For making your custom refresh rate, you can go here, go to the resolution, come here, customize it, create a custom and, and put your resolution here and just if you're running like 1920 by 1080 you can put like 1920 by 1078 also if you're running an amd card you can use cru i will put the download link in the description you can download it and open it you can go to the detailed resolution add and just do whatever you want your resolution of course here and your refresh rate here and okay and use one of these two restart program for 64-bit version of the Windows 64 and for 32 this restart. Go to the any game you want, open up your monitor OSD and check the refresh rate you set in the NVIDIA control panel or in the CRU and check if it's the same as you set in there. And ignore the resolution, resolution is not the same, okay that's fine, but the refresh rate must be same. Another thing you have to check is just go to the graphics setting of Han Shodan and turn off vsync 100%. Last step I suggest you guys to do that is downloading Process Lasso. It's a program just like Windows Scheduler but with very more features and things. I highly recommend you to download it, it's just not hard for anything. Once you download it, you have to configure it. There's not a real complicated config on it. Go to the main and make sure your pro balance and performance mode enabled. And then go to the option, power performance mode, install with some highest performance power plan. It's not working for me, I hope it's working for you. If it didn't work, doesn't matter. Just go to the application power profiles, go to the process match, find hunt, open it, and just choose the maximum performance profile or whatever you have related to the maximum performance or if you did install the bit sound profile you can choose it here and then ok it also you can go to the option memory smart trim options and enable smart trim and then go on check trim working set go check paired to standby list then system file cache only paired while in performance mode and go put this number on it and then come to here and put the menace you want to process lasso do the jobs done for example i doing 15 minutes this is going to purge my cache here it's going to page my cache right in the task manager performance memory right here. Sometimes this process may be causing the initial stuttering but it's fine. It just goes away. For getting less stuttering in that time put your page file in your SSD to get less stuttering. You can go here and choose your SSD. 10 GB, 15 GB, whatever you like. In the part 2 of the video, as I said in the start, I'm going to do some less comfortable things. I don't know if it's doing anything or not, but give it a shot and try it. First, you can disable your SMT for AMD processor or hyper-trading for your Intel processor and your BIOS. There's some way to disable SMT or hyper-trading in Windows, but most of them not working for Hunt Showdown. So just go to your BIOS and get the jobs done. In general, in most of the situation, you have to turn off your vSync, but for the purpose of testing micro stuttering and stuttering, go turn off your vSync and turn it on and see what is going on. The other thing you can do is just going to program and futures and find the NVIDIA GeForce experience if you're running an NVIDIA card and then install it. It also might give you like 5% boost in frame rate, which is a nice thing. Usually for the best performance and input lag, you have to run your game in exclusive full screen mode, not the full screen windowed, not the borderless, and not the windowed mode. But just for the purpose of testing, if you are running the game on full screen mode, go to the full screen windowed, and if you're running on other options, go to the full screen. And see if it's really if your condition with the stuttering or micro stuttering. If you're playing Hunt Showdown and you're reaching 100%, 99, 98% of your GPU usage, 
go to Nvidia control panel and go to the low latency mode and turn this on. Because of you reaching that amount of GPU usage, your input lag is going to be increased and your frames are going to be more choppy. So you can do this trick to lower your latency. And if you're running your game with the V-Sync and G-Sync and FreeSync and all of these together like V-Sync with the G-Sync or V-Sync with the FreeSync, you can go to the Ultra and minimize your input lag. Nvidia says for maximum throughput you have to turn this off, but I didn't see any difference in my frame rate when this option was on. And if you did all of this and it didn't work for you, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope Dev's fixing this issue soon and just makes everyone happy. But yeah, that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like on this channel. It's actually helped me a lot. Take care everybody and stay in nocturnal dreams. Bye.